Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. Usually, the song of the summer is some trendy pop hit from a rising star or an already prominent household name. Think Despacito by Luis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber, or Last Year's Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo. Some promising candidates for this year included songs from Harry Styles, Lizzo, and Beyonce. And yes, they all made songs that went viral, scored hot weeks on the charts, and have the culture in a headlock. That's true. But still, I would say the song of the summer is pretty definitively running up that hill, A Deal With God, a 1985 synth-pop anthem by Kate Bush that had already secured its place at number 60 on Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest songs of all time before this summer. Then, in May, the Netflix sensation Stranger Things featured the tune in a tense fan-favorite scene, and from there, the song took off on social media. Just a few months later, the song has been covered endlessly, sped up, slowed down, and blasted on many highways across the world. Summer 2022 has seen this 37-year-old pop smash soar to number one on the UK's song charts and become Bush's first ever top five song on the US Billboard chart. In an era when anthematic pop songs from Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, and Sabrina Carpenter has revived interest in female icons of yesteryear, like Alanis Morissette, Avril Lavigne, and others, it does make some sense. Kate Bush was primed for a revival, and then a hit Netflix series was just the catalyst it needed. But still, the success of Running Up That Hill is mind-boggling stuff. Summer 2022 will always remain one for the record books as a result. The summer when a song reached across time and resonated with a new generation. That's the power of great art. So congratulations to Kate Bush and her song on a truly unprecedented journey. I'm Evan Rook.